We have big challenges in our country, in our politics, our economy, our society. Those are challenges we have to address. But look around. We have the world's strongest economy. Our scientists, our researchers, our entrepreneurs, our global leaders in innovation. Our colleges and universities attract the best talent from around the world. Our values, freedom, equality, opportunity, those values inspire people everywhere, including immigrants who come here ready to work and integrate and help renew our country. Our standing in the world is higher. And I see it in my travels from Havana to Berlin to Ho Chi Minh City, where huge crowds of Vietnamese line the streets, some waving American flags. So make no mistake, the United States is better positioned to lead in the 21st century than any other nation. And here's another fact. Our military is, by a mile, the strongest in the world. Yes, after two major ground wars in Afghanistan and Iraq, we're drawing down the size of our armed forces, which is natural and necessary. And we have to keep improving readiness and modernizing our force. But it is undeniable, our military is the most capable fighting force on the planet. It's not close. Our soldiers are the best trained, best equipped land force on Earth, tested by years of combat, able to sustain power anywhere in the globe. Nobody can match our Army. Our sailors serve on aircraft carriers that can go almost anywhere and submarines that move undetected. The largest and most lethal Navy in the world, on track to surpass 300 ships. Nobody can match our Navy. Our Marines are ready at a moment's notice, first to fight or deliver help in a crisis. The world's only truly global expeditionary force. Nobody can match our Marines. Our Coast Guardsmen serve on the most advanced cutters in history, and special teams can shoot smugglers' engines, hook and climb or rappel aboard, protecting our shores. Nobody can match our Coast Guard. And as for our airmen, with your unequaled vigilance and reach, unrivaled fifth-generation fighters, a new generation of remotely piloted aircraft pilots, astonishing precision that calls to mind your actual class motto, on target, on time. Nobody can match America's Air Force. Not only that, no other nation brings its forces together like we do in one joint force, as we saw in an operation against ISIL in Syria just last year. Air Force aircraft provided surveillance. Navy F-18s provided close air support. Army aviation assets delivered our special operators, an assault force of Marines and soldiers to the target. And one of ISIL's top leaders, Abu Sayyaf, was eliminated. That's the power of America's military. And we need to keep it that way. And here's one more fact as you go out into the world. We are blessed to be living in the most peaceful, most prosperous era in human history. Now, that sounds controversial until you survey the history of the world. It's hard to see with all the violence and suffering in the world and what's reported on the news every day. But if you step back for a moment, think about last week when I was in Hiroshima to remember all who were lost in a world war that killed some 60 million people. Not 60,000, 60 million. For decades, there have been no wars between major powers. Wars between nations are increasingly rare. More people live in democracies. More than one billion people have been lifted from extreme poverty. From the Americas to Africa to Southeast Asia, there's a new generation of young people connected by technology and ready to make their mark. I've met them. They, they look up to America. They aspire to be our partner. 